this is the magical ingredient that goes into this perfume have a look at this incredible isn't it so i'm talking about gela's vetiver or the toilet of course they have different versions we are not going into those we are just talking about the plain old beautiful magnificent beast from the 50s of course from the sound of it you feel you must think that this is a perfume for old men a strong herbal soapy concoction for my grandpa but it's not because they just cannot stop making it they will run out of all their scents but not whatever i just got myself a bag cup of 200 ml i'm not a fool i really paid a heavy amount for this i mean more than the official retail price and this scent is absolutely bonkers it kills almost every artisanal so called artisanal summer scent that i've collected over the years and this is very high praise for something as simple as this so vetiver it is but it's not just vetiver there are some beautiful elements to this of course given the history of the kela family and their perfuming history they are just incredible people they are explorers that's why i have so much respect for shak kela the creator of uh, uh, shalimar then of course the creator of abi rouge jean paul kela he is the perfumer who created vetiver and i think they have a huge huge legacy this is something which will give you the whole history or the whole essence of the house of kerala these guys were making perfumes of such a uh, caliber back in the 1950s and we are talking about artisanal scents in you know uh, 2021 20 2020 20, 2019 these guys were already there in the last century and much before that which is quite incredible they are working with the most difficult ingredient that you can think of so think of it in technical terms technically this is the most overwhelming perfume ingredient that you can find and yet they have you know they've been successfully uh, create been creating magic around it this blend is exemplary because it also has a beautiful bergamot at the top which is so fresh like the rind of a very nice fragrant lemon juicy incredible depth incredible zest it just you know shoots your senses with this incredible freshness like a jolt a fresh jolt that you require in the morning like that you get from caffeine then you've got a harsh almost soapy kind of vetiver which definitely will not impress you the first time you wear the scent it's going to take time because it's a complex material this my friends is the thickest uh rue khas or essential oil of whatever that you will find and i have been wearing this scent for a very long time in india we've been wearing these oils for centuries now and this my friends trust me is something that goes into our sharbats that we drink it goes into the water which is used in desert coolers and uh, it is something that is used um, in food it is something that we wear as perfume and this is the only scent that can survive the hot climate that we have here it turns into an incredibly creamy custardy sort of sweetness that 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 is like a soft bubble that is like a soft um you know cloudy a smoke of a, a cloud of soft sweet smoke around you some incense and you've got this beautiful nutmeg clove sort of sensation coming from your skin radiating off your skin which is absent if you spray it on your clothes especially indian cotton or if you spray it on paper but on on your skin you'll get you'll get incredible uh, complexity from it and the performance is absolutely fantastic this is this is a beast it will last you more than a day and it's not something which is too penetrative it is not something which is like uh, a powerful a uh, bakhur like scent from the middle east this is subtle and i don't know what they were thinking when they made this scent for 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 people in france i don't know if they even wear the scent but surprisingly many actors from hollywood many uh, athletes many popular people many intellectuals wear the scent not just because it's a beautiful smelling fragrance but it also helps you therapeutically it is something that acts on your brain it is something that will uh, you know kind of make you feel really calm it will uh, it will really lift your mood up especially if uh, it's it's harsh it's a hot summer day when you're sweating and uh, this is something which is quite magical about khas which i personally enjoy as well and so many people out there in the world 
this is the speciality of khas and it it's also got some undertones from the of of the indian mysore sandalwood which is i think uh, something that is present in almost all popular ghelans a soft kiss of the indian mysore sandalwood creamy buttery incredible uh, sensual sensuality in the drier phases of this so this is something that you must explore if you love perfume if you love uh, perfumery as an art this is something that you must explore to understand that these guys were daredevils these guys were explorers they were, they were not sitting in uh, in a comfortable you know ac room and uh, doing their research over internet they actually they actually had to put a lot of effort to collect these materials from all over the world and these guys created shalimar even though jack gela never visited india or the indian subcontinent for that reason yet he was able to uh, envision such uh, A, a beautiful perfume and i can attest to the genius of that perfume and then you've got vetiver this reminds me of my childhood uh, we used to use vetiver sheets in summers you know we used to make them wet and then the cool uh, evening breeze would come along and uh, it would carry the scent or the fragrance uh, of these vetiver sheets and it was just incredible it used to help us sleep to to really cool off during those hot humid summer nights it, it's just incredible and these guys were already there in the 1950s which is quite in, unbelievable they they have developed flankers of this like uh, the vetiver a glacy version the vetiver extreme they've got uh, a few other scents as well i believe vetiver X, yeah there's there's one more i forgot the name but this vetiver the toilet is historic it's class apart i have original vetiver from the house of creed i have sultan's nishan uh, Sul, sultan uh, vetiver from uh, nishane i've got um, dior's discontinued vetiver from the previous series I'm just speechless every time I wear this scent I just go blank it is so beautiful so incredible that I had to buy a backup bottle yesterday if this does not tell you about my fondness for Guerlain's classics I don't know what else will see you again in another fragrance review until then take care goodbye guys